So we, we brought we brought some watermelons. Oh, oh that's good. really? Yeah. So where are they? Yeah. Oh, one second. I forgot them. The joke. Here are the watermelons. Uh, did you also bring cherries? <laughs> you think uh, you're funny? Yes, I am. Actually, I'm the one who chose to bring watermelons. Are you serious? Yeah. So you're empty now. now. Yeah. I chose to get in shape. Oh. Yeah. So, anything new? Well, as you guys know, um, my hobby to bit is the director of ACWX MPL. It's a company, um, well, we donated um, in our name 100k for uh, to build a school for unfortunate kids in our region. What did the grizzlies stop? Uh, it's uh, the associations of comedians who can make people laugh. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Wow, that's good. <laughs> so, so that you're like in Florida. Yeah. Do you have any uh, good uh, news for us? Yeah, of course. Um, so, uh, by the way, Sandy told me that um, you guys, uh, she really want to come, but uh, that she couldn't because of work. And uh, you know what? No. My little Johnny got a hundred percent in her literature exam. <gasps> wow! Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of him. Yeah. yeah. Well, my name is Johnny. Hi, Johnny. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you What you did in remembrance of Johnny is really amazing yeah. I wouldn't be able to call my own son Johnny because yes. you remind me of him so much Yeah, I know, but uh, to brighten up the mood I have a surprise for you guys Oh yeah? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Shoot! 
was mine. Yeah, I have good yeah. memories, yeah. I also remember the first time when I met Sherry. I knew she would be special oh, for me. Oh, this is yeah. cute. It was so oh. cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look! to receive Keith Matthew, the owner of the humor school, who is the number one in the country. Hi, Mr. Keith. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good, thank you. So I would like to ask you some questions. And um, you're so famous as the owner of your humor school. So what encouraged you to create this school? Well, um, during all my childhood, you know, I was a teenager as well. I like very much to make my friends laugh. I can say I was like the funny guy of the gang. Actually, everyone in my gang used to call me 2-Bit. Even my teachers used to call me like that. It was my, my nickname. They forgot my real name. <laughs> Humor has always been so important in my life, and it is again today, so that's why I decided to create my own school of humor. Good. And do you have any friends or family who support your project? Yes, I am so lucky. I have so many people who helped me to follow my dreams. Especially my wife, Marcia. We met at the age of 18, and since then, she's always present for me when I need help and courage. And also, some of my old friends, like Pony Boy, Soda Pop, Diary, and Steve, that helped me to realize, to realize my project. They're always there for me, even if we don't leave, live in the same town. Good. And uh, to become a businessman, you must have a good grade uh, at school and be a good student, don't you? Oh, Lord. That is so funny. For real, I was the worst student you have ever seen. For real, school wasn't that important for me. So when I grew up, I realized that I, I needed to work hard to, um, to obtain my goals. So that's why I decided to create my own company to promote the humor in the country. Good. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. So we're going to continue with the next week uh, news. And I hope you guys uh, like the the interview. Thank you. Okay. 